So, gotta take this stuff off. <laughs> I'm trying to change my nail polish. So this is a base coat, a color coat, and then I have one of the Sephora, I think they're called explosive top coats. So it's basically like the speckle stuff. And as much as I love glitter and all that fun stuff, it literally gives me goosebumps to remove it, just that feeling. So I actually got this, which is Sephora's Instant Nail Polish Mover for Glitter. And I'm actually gonna try it and see how it goes. Oh, dip your fingers in the foam. Oh, I don't like that. But I guess I'll have to. I don't know, I just feel like weird about that. But we'll do it. Ooh. It's like a black foam. That's not weird. I don't wanna. Make sure, like. Ooh. That's weird. I don't know how I feel about this. Am I supposed to do something weird? Dip your fingers into the foam. Okay, so let's just, just dip it. It doesn't say how long. Well, it appears it's taken off the nail polish, not the glitter. Let's try a little longer. It doesn't seem like there's a lot of liquid in here. It doesn't say to scrub, but I feel like that might be more effective. Where does all this glitter go? I mean, it is kind of coming off, but I don't know why I use this little scrubber thing. I don't like how it's said to just dip your nails. It still feels funky. I was hoping for a miracle. But it doesn't feel as bad as the cotton. That worked. So I'm just going to keep doing this. So, that stuff, it did work. It took a lot of work. And, like, the pinky was kind of hard to move around in there. And the thumb was kind of hard, I guess, because they're the shorter ones. But I really feel like it stripped my nails more than anything else because I normally use the CVS non-acetone nail polish remover and I'm sure this is much stronger. Yeah, first ingredient is acetone so that's probably why my nails feel like they're stripped but in a pinch I guess it's okay. So I'm going to get ready for bed and paint my nails and I'll check in with you guys tomorrow. So I just pulled into work sort of finished my nails, but not really. Let's see what I can do. You guys must think I'm crazy. This is what it's supposed to look like. We're not quite there yet, and it's pretty freaking messy. I'm going in. So, on my break, heading to the post office to drop off packages. Super exciting. People are looking at me like I'm a crazy person because I probably am. Gloomy day. So somebody pointed out they're like, why do you only do one hand? And I was like, don't judge me, I'm trying. I don't know why I decided to do nail art at 4 o'clock in the morning. Let's be honest, not the smartest move. Finally heading home. Oh. Man. I'm really hoping that my fat pants came in. So, I've been in this struggle of squeezing into my pants. There came a time where I couldn't squeeze into them anymore. The dryer must have shrunk them too much. You know, you know how that goes. Past the point of no return. And I always told myself I refused to buy bigger pants, but it appears that my sedentary lifestyle has not caused me to uh, lose the inches uh, needed to get back into those pants. But that's okay, because they were kind of old. You know? So, Urban Outfitters had a lot of jeans on sale, and I actually really love the Urban Outfitters BDG brand jeans. That's sort of like private brand. But it's gotten to the point that some of them are like $80, which is a little ridiculous in my opinion. But I really like how they fit, so they actually had a bunch on sale. So, I bought quite a few 
mainly because they didn't have the same kind that I normally wore. So I bought, you know, a few different styles, all in the same size, the higher size up, just to kind of see which style will fit, and then I can always return, you know, the ones that don't work out. I hope they come in today because I'm dying to have hands that I don't need to squeeze into. I want to start exercising even though I hate it. I just I don't have a lot of time. I work 40 hours a week and then, you know, I'm on social media with you guys. I'm filming, editing, making photos for, for YouTube and for my website and then I'm selling on eBay. I have other freelance work that I do like writing for websites and whatnot. You know, managing other companies' social media. So, I'm pretty busy, and, you know, when I'm out exercising, all I think about is, hmm, if I was home, I could be making this much doing this, I could be listing more things on eBay, I could be editing a video, so, it's all my games, it's, it's how much priority, and right now I'm giving work and making money top priority over exercising mainly because I would rather be making money. It's more fun for me than exercising, which is understandable. But I know I have to make it a priority. So my goal today when I get home is not to take a nap, as tired as I am. Because if I take a nap, I'm not going to be able to sleep today. It's just how it goes. But just my bed it always looks so comfortable and I go in to lay down. I used to do that in college too. Like I'd be like, I need to stay up all night to study for this test. I have to cram. I gotta get all this stuff in my head. And then somehow I would go from the desk to, hmm, like let me take my notes and I'm just gonna study in bed. I know you guys try that too. And what happens? Pass out big surprise. Studying laying down never works out. Although ironically I edit most of my videos in bed. For whatever reason I just, it's much more comfortable for me. It's just been such a gloomy day and it's super humid. The moment I went outside my sunglasses just fogged up. It's gross. It's gross, gross. That's why I'm so greasy. take back the no nap thing. I'm so tired. I just want to curl up in my bed. <laughs> Why? <sighs> Somebody took the time to write hashtag Suki. Cut it out and tape it or whatever to every single tree on this road. Sometimes I truly wish that I had that kind of free time. So seriously, that's commitment. Oh. <gasps> Yay, my fat pants are here! <laughs> it's the little things in life. Lisa. Hello, Lena. Fat pants. Among other things. So I know I said I wouldn't, but it totally passed out. But right now, I'm trying on my fat pants. Not sure how I feel about them so far. So I went through all the jeans that I got. Some contenders, but none of them fit like previous ones did. Like these. These are super high rise twig ankle. And this goes to show you why you have to buy so many and if I was smarter, I probably would have just gone to the store to try them on, but these like fit like boyfriend jeans and they're supposed to be twig, which is their skinniest, skinniest. These are definitely going back. Syed are the longest ones that I got, the 33 inseam. This is high rise twig. These fit kind of nice. Or 20 inseam, they're low rise twig ankle. I liked how these fit. Even though I'm not a huge fan of low rise, I wouldn't wear these to work because I would literally be, every time I like bent over to pick up something, it would not be 
pretty. High rise twig grazer. So I don't really remember ordering these. I have to look at the invoice because it's 26 inch inseam. They're like supposed to be shorter than ankle. And I don't know in what universe I would order that. Maybe I didn't read it right or maybe I picked the wrong size. But they actually fit really, really good. So I don't know, maybe I should try them on with like some sort of shoes. Maybe if I wear them with like an ankle boot or something, it won't look so odd. These are gonna go in the maybe. And the last pair are high rise seam jean ankles. And these are 28 and seam. Looked like mom jeans when I put them on. Wanted to love them. They looked great on the model. I'm sure they didn't alter them whatsoever. Sorry. Nope. So, out of the five pairs that I got, I got two no's, two maybes, and one yes. Now you see why I ordered five instead of just one, so I wouldn't be disappointed. Ooh. I have to photograph a lot of stuff right now. So that's all I'm gonna do. Super exciting!